Crystal knew Kirk. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> Listen, our newest chapter president of Georgia, the Georgia market is launching November 1st. How are you feeling about this, Crystal Newkirk? I am so excited about this opportunity. I've been waiting for this ever since we had the conversation in December of 2023. So the countdown is here and we are super excited about this opportunity. I love it. I love it. So I have to start with my first question because folks want to know, and before we jump in, I guess I should introduce myself. So I'm Dawn Nicole McElwain. I'm just overcome with excitement. I'm the founder and CEO of Queen City Women in Business. It was always my vision to have chapters and strong women helping to lead the charge. And Crystal, you're one of those women. And I have to start with asking you the first question. What inspired you to say yes to taking the lead into opening up the Georgia market for these women business owners? And, and what do you see in that vision? So talk about first, what inspired you? Yes, that's a great question. Um, and honestly, I have been praying for an opportunity as far as expanding my business. So by working up to obtain my certifications, um, that I was already on that path. But the reason why I said yes to this opportunity is that number one, it aligned with my passion to help women business owners. So, and because I was already on that path to obtain several certifications, when I had that conversation with you, I was like, man, this aligned with not only with my passion, but also with my goal to expand my business. So it was twofold. To, wow. to, to say yes to this opportunity. And my vision for this is that Georgia is going to be the best chapter. I mean, I am looking to align. On, yes, it's, com it's competitive. So <laughs> Tasha, I'm calling you out. So I am seeing the Georgia, the state of Georgia and the opportunities for women entrepreneurs and to even expand into new markets and new programs that maybe we have not considered in the past. I, I love this. I love this. And listen, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition. We all know the Indiana chapter president, Taja Graham, is extremely competitive. So um, I think you're in good hands there. So let me ask you this. Of course, I know personally, but for the women watching this who are leaning in, who are excited about what this means to Georgia, Crystal, what does this mean to the women? Like, let's break down what is Queen City Women in Business, number one. I don't even think we've established that. But then number two, what does this step mean for the women business owners in Georgia? Let's start there. Let's start there. Yes. Queen City Women in Business offers unique boutique services for women business owners. Women business owners that have been, that are interested in spending their business, women business owners that are already certified, but still not able to learn, to land a contract. And then women business owners that our community could be their target audience. So we have different markets of women business owners that can really grow from learning how to become supplier ready and ready to bid, to learn how to obtain the certification, but more importantly, women that know that the queens in our community are their target audience. So there's opportunity for women across the board to become a member and partner with, uh, with our Georgia chapter. You listen, do y'all see why Crystal Newkirk is our chapter president? She don't play around. Uh, the only question that made her light up is you ask her what is Queen City Women in Business, all right? So I, I love yes. this, I love this. And Crystal, let me just add this too, because you know, you and I are, we're, we're, we're in these streets. We're, we're out here, right? We're talking to, we're keeping our ear to the members. We're listening to the partners. And one thing that I will add on to that too, Crystal, um, is that I feel like Queen City Women in Business are would be for the women who, who went unaddressed too long, right? They've been dismissed because even though, yes, there's no shortage of certification agencies, right? And, and all of that, and we know it's needed, there's still a healthy population of women who've been left behind. Would you agree yes, with that? Yes, I agree like, with that. I got certified, but I still don't know what it means. I still don't know how to use it. I still don't know what I'm doing. How will Queen City Women in Business, Crystal, in the Georgia market, help solve those women who've been dismissed and left behind and they've been trying too long with no results. Talk to me about how this is going to be different for the Georgia market. Yes, that's it. Um, the reason why it's going to be different is because I was that woman. Yes. I attain. So this is personal for me. Yes. This is a personal mission. I was that woman, that business owner that obtained the certifications, but still found myself in a black hole. 
Yeah. Still not able to maneuver and figure out all the many different pieces, but what our AI platform allow for bis women business owners is that number one, we've simplified the process. Yeah, we we have a step by step process that show women not only how to obtain the certifications, but then also I love our educational platform, how to become supplier ready to learn how to pitch their business, to learn how to create their capability statement, to okay. learn how to create their bid and yes. make sure it's a winning proposal. Yes. That information, even though I've obtained other certifications from other organizations, but that to be able to have that hand-on experience yeah. to walk you through simple steps and then also to have that co collaboration opportunity. Yeah. So I that's what the Georgia chapter in Queen City Women in Business overall provide for women-owned businesses. Wow. It's not just obtaining the um, certifications, yeah. but it's definitely going beyond that to obtaining their contract. Not just the first one, Yes. But many opportunities. I love, oh, listen, I'm the founder and I'm, you get me excited. So I, I know you're going to have some excited partners. And listen, speaking of partners, we already have, we're not going to say who, we already yes. have excitement in the Georgia market. Don't we, Crystal? There we do. And I, I'm leaning in when you say that because yes. I'm so excited to see all the opportunities that we have. Coming. Yes. Yes, I love it. So speaking of the excitement, so let's go back up. So you're launching November 1st, and then I understand, well, I know I'm talking, I know we're having a launch event December 9th. Let's talk about the difference of those two events. So when we say to the women that Georgia is launching November 1 at midnight, what does that mean? What does that look like, Crystal Newkirk? Yes, at 12.01 on. on November 1st, we are celebrating because our Queen City Women in Business Georgia website is live and ready to take on and accept new members into our community. Now, quite kept, women have been applying and have joined our community prior to November 1st. And we've, we've had collaboration opportunities and educational opportunities, but now all women that are Georgia-based will be able to, uh, to to join our community. So we go live 1201 on November 1st. So we're we're excited. Uh, we're excited. And you know what? It, it, let me tell you, not, uh, if quiet is kept, uh, not only are <laughs> they excited, I'm excited. And Crystal, I don't even know if you know this. I already have a pipeline of women who I've been talking to, companies and women who I've been just uh, adding to the mm -hmm. December 9th launch event, which we're going to talk about in a second, who said, oh, sign me. Also, uh, Tractor Supply, their supplier diversity said, oh, they're in Georgia. They're right there in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They said, oh, sign me up. So listen, ladies, there's no shortage of excitement. Crystal did not just come here overnight. We've been working that Crystal, yes. it's important. Yes. Now I'm getting passionate because all too often, you, we see success, right? We see mm -hmm. women show up and you women who look like us, they show up and they're having some success and there's excitement around them. And people sometimes think, oh, they just started this overnight. Crystal, how long have we been working? Have we not been working in the background since like June and July yes. and, and, and longer on crafting this? Let's talk about the work in the background that people haven't seen. They haven't seen you do your commitment. Let's talk about how you've been working and getting poised for this market. Come on with it. Yes, yes. And 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 to be honest, I underestimated the yeah. work that was required behind the scene. Yeah. So once once the contract was signed, yeah. I mean, you set up immediately the training that was required <laughs> to move forward. So we've been working diligently, but even before that, when I said yes in December, I had my local team to start in January of 2024 to come to Charlotte for every opportunity so that we could volunteer and learn behind the scenes of what success looks like. Because our North Carolina, our headquarter chapter, you're already doing it. So for me personally, with my local team, with, with my, my um, Georgia ambassadors, Nika Arnold Scott and Vanessa Spence, we were, we volunteered, we attend that. So we were, you know, bootstrap at the ground to be able to learn how to do that. But for the president role, the chapter president role, you and I started in June and July, just learning. And, and, and I love your training background and agile because it was all laid out. And of course, we're still learning new things. Right. But as far as getting the weeds do that, listen, I left my, um, my W2 investor 
at the end of June, yes. turning that yes. notice because I knew this commitment level was yes. needed to really do it in excellence. So I am super excited and about you, the opportunity and the impact. You know what? And you just, and you know, when we get to go and Crystal, we start feeding off each other and we, and we have mm -hmm. to say, pass the mic, pass it. Look, look, while you have the mic, give me the mic back. I love this about you, but Crystal, let me just say something about your commitment and then your team's commitment, right? Because sometimes, well, all the time, your leaders will follow the beat and the style and the flavor, right, uh, of how their leader leads. And I have to say, you are such a all-in commit. When you commit, yes. Crystal, and you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share your big news on here. But when I tell you. You go all in and it shows you have always been a all in committed person. Even speaking about your team, I will give some credit here right now. Your team has been showing up before there was even the possibility of a chapter. When we had our first uh, breakfast, your team drove in from Atlanta. When we had our sip and paint, your team drove in and they didn't just drive in. They drove in, they showed up, they volunteered, they lean in. I feel like they've been in training themselves on how to show up for the women of Georgia for a year and change now. They've been showing up, they've been leaning in, they've been taking the notes and Crystal, let's give them credit. They've actually been applying the strategies themselves. So these are not women who are standing idly by just telling you about it. They've done the work. They've gotten yes. certifications. They've gotten yes. contracts in some cases like uh, Pink Iron, right? Who's doing yes. it. Um, they've flown to Indiana right? To see how it goes and how it looks. So I just want to give some credit right now to your team leaning in. So let's talk about your goals for Georgia first year. Okay. So from November 1, 2024 to November 1, 2025, Crystal, what do you hope to do? And we're not, we're, right? This is not written in stone, but when you think about how you want to make impact, the type of leader you want to be, what's important to you for the women you serve and support? Yes. One of my top goals is that I am not looking for women to just join our community. Mm -hmm. One thing that I'm looking for women to really matriculate, to, to really help drive their education, to empower them on a professional and personal level. One thing that we've already started um, for our Georgia chapter in November is that we're starting our monthly accountability calls because we are making that we're having the ladies to come to the table, to come to our meetings yeah. so they can so we can start benchmarking where they are and where they want to be and that my ambassadors and I we're working with them so again it's not just becoming a part of our community and be a bench warmer right that's right. not what Come we on. want oh, right no we oh. want women that want they're ready to do the work yeah their 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 financial commitment and their energy level we want that same energy from their weekly commitment on their yeah. calendar yeah. so the events where they say they want to go yeah we want to help them to get there starting in November so that by November, 2025 or sooner, yes. we can measure outcomes. So it's not just a join and it's not just a, another girlfriend group. Yeah. It's an opportunity really to make great impact in their business. Therefore, they are then going to, when they experience that success, yes. they're going to go and champion and become champions. We yes. have ambassadors, yes. but I want true champions about mm. what we have to do in their business and in their in their personal life. Yeah. And if I can take a moment, because the yes. reason why I want that is because it's been that for me. Yeah. I've seen just by leaning in and attending the workshops, attending the supplier readiness, the impact is made in my personal life, even in my marriage. Wow. My husband, by attending a supplier readiness training. Now, I've been working on this for years yeah. and he's heard me talk about it. But when my husband attended, when he was in the room, mm. yes, yes, he caught something. And he, it changed the direction that we were going in our marriage. So from that in June, 2024, yeah. by attending one of the supplier readiness training opportunities, my husband and I left that meeting and he was so inspired such that we created another division that allowed him to now use skills that he had in the construction industry over 30 years to now be able to use that. Because what we learned is that there was a great demand for construction diverse suppliers. We never knew that. So again, by coming and attending our education workshops, our supplier readiness, 
and also our matchmaking. My goal is that not only will women change their business and their lives, I want their families to be changed. I want communities Sorry. to be changed because they will be champions on, because their lifestyle will reflect that. That's what I want. Crystal for president, ladies and gentlemen, listen, Crystal, I'm going to get kicked out of this office. <laughs> messing with you. Yes. Oh, honey, you just re-inspired me. First of all, it's the success stories for me. Listen, this yes. is, this is, let me just say this, right? When, when, let me tell you why what you're saying is just speaking to my heart and I'm, I'm acting up a little bit, but y'all know I'm a passionate CEO. <laughs> y'all already know how Dawn Nicole is. Um, I just have to say this though, Crystal, there's so many agencies who, who didn't want to see us here. They didn't want us to start. They didn't want me to open the door. They discouraged me. I talk about that in different videos, but when I hear stories like this, and I hear women winning and I get the phone calls because I'm always getting the calls and the emails. Donna Cole, I won. Thank you. Right. And I hear this. It reignites the why, why we started. I appreciate you so much because so many people talk about it, but we have receipts. We have the receipts, Crystal. I'm just going to be very honest. You can talk about it. People say what they do, but we do this for real. We do this from an act of love. We love, like you said, we've been in those shoes. I'm with you, right? I, I've gotten the certifications and I didn't get anywhere. I'm so grateful though, that we have the power of community and education in real outcomes. So thank you for sharing that. Congratulations to you and your husband. Um, I know the personal story of it, but I'm so grateful that you shared it again here because I'm reminded of it. Thank you for that. Um, the other thing I want to say, can you, let, let, speaking of how we're different, right? We're we're boutique, but we're mighty. So we're in right now, we're actually in 14 states now, just so you know, we keep growing. Um, and, and what we consider in a state is when we have members, plural, in, in a different state. So we're in 14 states. Let's talk about the QCWIB magic for a second. Because the we we everywhere we go, and you've seen it, Crystal, I've seen it. There's a magic that happens with when we get together and we start sharing and caring and loving on each other. And we have this thing in our community where the women lead each other, say, let here, let me take you to the let me let me make sure you get introduced. Let me can you talk about the QCWIB magic and how we're gonna keep it going in Georgia? The peaches, right? We'll be yes. able to experience some of this magic. Let's talk about it. Yes, and I have a great example of that for the magic. When we had the opportunity at our Charlotte Hat and Tea, yes. and I had an opportunity to get on stage and just, you know, do a call out to, to all one, everyone that attended that, to each one reach one, to share that if you know a woman-owned business that's based in Georgia, that I my, my call out was to be able to reach out them and direct to them to me. Don't you know? that since that in August of 2024, uh -huh. that I have received over 50 women <gasps> that have registered for our information sessions that set up one-on-one um, um, -on -one calls with me and have attended. So what we're doing is magical because our community makes the difference. Yes. Yes. That's one of the things that makes us unique is the caliber of women. It's the culture that yes. you've established Yes. within Queen City Women yeah. in Business because there's no competition. Yeah, There's no. collaboration yes. that yes. we see and we want each uh, each one to succeed. Yeah. I had one ambassador that was at a Georgia um, event and she texts over like 10 women business cards that she met that the, and she pitched and told about the opportunity and they were all interested in learning more. So that's what makes us unique is the culture. One of the things yeah. But it's the yeah. technology, secondly, yeah. that the AI platform that allows yeah. our technology is state of the art. I, I, again, I, we are the platform is one of the magic things that makes it magical. So what you and Demario have done with creating the platform yeah. that allows our technology yeah. is what makes Queen City Women in Business unique. Yeah. So we have our culture, we have our community, but really it's that technology. Yes. Yeah. When you have that ask Quinn, yes, that, yes. that, that, that alone. So for the women owned business that, that have not had an opportunity to go to our state, go, even if you're a non-member, go check it out and yeah. see yeah. that our firsthand about our technology. So That's I right. am so excited. 
I am too. Awesome. Crystal, this has been amazing. Before we close, um, I know we're right at time. Can you tell the women about the December 9th launch event? Let's make this segment all about December 9th, the supplier readiness launch event. What is going to happen on that day? Who's in the room? This is not an ordinary supplier readiness roundtable. This is a launch yes. version where we party a little bit. Talk about it, Crystal. The floor is yours. Yes. What, what can we expect? We are so, my team and I have been working on this with the help of Taja and, and Don Nicole, but December 9th is not only our first event, but like you've indicated, it's our first, uh, first supplier readiness. So we are hosting this at the Rice Center, the Russell Innovation Center for Entrepreneurs. We have our Julian Bailey that's attending. So women are going to learn firsthand on how to do business with the state of Georgia. We have Lawana Ross with the Douglas County um, Chamber of Commerce, and she's coming to teach us how to do business with these with the county level. But we have a secret surprise, and that is that we and we can't tell you today. So you're going to have to be in the room to learn how to do business with other companies that are there in local to mark local market. Awesome. But one thing that we're, that we're going to share is that we're going to have real people with real testimonies yes. to tell firsthand about how yes. the membership, the community, the education has changed their lives, their business, and also their um, personal lives. So we're super excited about what's going to take place on December 9th. I love it. So y'all, listen, ladies, you heard it here first. Be in the room. Make sure your face is in the place. If you are a woman business and you even are thinking about doing bigger business in 2025 and beyond. You want to work with the government. You want to work with corporations. You want to work with the county, the city. Be in the room. In fact, bring another woman with you. We're all going to show up on that day. Crystal's going to have the backing of headquarters in all the states in Indiana. Everybody is coming to support this launch. You want to be there. We're going to put the link below where you can sign up. So Crystal, with that said, I thank you and I welcome you in, Queen. Keeping it Queen Co. Thank you so much with Crystal Newkirk. Take care.